Hi, this is question number seven from the AQA Further Pure 1 and January 2013 exam paper. For the first part of this video, I'd like you to see if you can have a go at trying the question yourself. So if you'd like to pause the video now and give it a go. Okay, well done if you managed to have a go at the question. I'm now going to go over a hint as to how you can go about answering the question. The variables y and x are related by an equation of this form here where a and n are constants um, we let capital Y equal um, log 10 Y and capital X is equal to log of base 10 X we need to show that there is a linear relationship between Y capital Y and capital X okay what you want to start off by doing for this is um, taking the um, log of base 10 on both sides of this equation we then hopefully will be able to rearrange it so that we've got a term that's going to be log 10y and another term that's going to be um, log x. We should then be able to replace those with the capital Y and the capital X um, and, and show that there is a linear relationship between Y and X. Part B says the graph of Y against X is shown in this diagram here and we need to find the value of N and the value of a. Now um, we will have um, by this stage um, found a linear relationship between y and x so we need to um, decide what the gradient of this graph is and what the y-intercept is and we can use that information to work out what the value of n and what the value of a is. Okay those are my hints if you'd now like to pause the video and see if you can have a try at doing this question yourself. Okay, why don't you manage to have a go at that? I'm now going to go over the full solution to this equation. So um, I'll work over here, I think. I'll just give myself a little bit more room. Okay, so for part A, Um, we need to show that there's a linear relationship between y and x. So we said that we were going to take the log of both sides of this equation. So um, taking the log of this side, I'm going to have log, and I'm just going to write log y. Um, we know that the base is 10 um, is equal to, and then I'm going to have log a x to the power of n. Okay, now using my log laws, um, I can write this in a different form. Um, so I'm going to write it as log y is equal to. And um, we need to be careful here because the common mistake that people make is that they say, well, this means the same as n times log ax. What we need to remember is that um, the n is the power of the x, not the power of the a. So actually, we would need to separate this um, in this way first. So we've got log a plus log x to the power of n. And in fact, that's going to be equal to log y equals. And I'm just going to write, I'm going to change the order of this. So I'm going to say it's um, n times log x. plus log a okay and I've just swapped the order of these two around right so um, we know that y is equal to log y it's capital Y so I can replace that with a capital Y and we know that log x is going to be capital X so that I can replace that with n times x and plus log Right, so um, we've now got this as a linear relationship because we've got it in the form y equals mx plus c where m is n and c is going to be log a. So moving on to part b. Okay, um, the graph of y against x is shown in this diagram here and we need to find the value of n and find the value of a. Now, um, 
because we've got this in the form y equals mx plus c, this number here must be the gradient of this line. So I can say n is going to be equal to, and it's going to be the gradient of this line. So that's the change in y divided by the change in x. So, um, so that's going to be a negative 4 divided by 6, or So that's going to be negative two thirds. Okay, so that's the gradient of the graph. It's negative two thirds, and also, um, so I'll just write that again here. So n is going to be equal to negative two thirds. Okay. Also, to find a, well, I know that um, log a um, is going to be my c in this um, y equals m x plus c. And that's going to be my y-intercept, which is 4. So I can say log 10a is equal to 4. Now, I know um, that a is going to have, have to now be equal to 10 to the power of 4, which means a is going to be equal to 10,000. And there you go. So n is equal to negative two thirds, and a is equal to ten thousand. And I think that's it. Yes, and we've answered the question. Okay. Um, I hope you found that useful and clear. Um, thanks very much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.